Welcome to another episode of Crime Pays of Bonitas, and today we're just outside of Lawton, Oklahoma, and these beautiful wild rock gardens on 500 million year old granite, checking out some of the cool plants that are growing here. Got a wonderful plant community composed of uh, this Selaginella species right here, one of the spike mosses, a lycophyte, one of the five major lineages of plants. Next to ferns, bryophytes, gymnosperms, angiosperms, and then you got the uh, the spike mosses and lycophytes. Fucking weirdos. Junipers virginiana, the eastern red cedar, not a true cedar. No true cedars are native to North America. And it's lovely rock outcropping. A lot of cool stuff here that you don't get uh, down below. Or in, you know, in a more uh, deep soiled woodland. Nice echinoceries right there as well. Little cactus nestled in the uh, spike moss. Got a heterotheca, asteraceae. Loving it up here, loving the uh, drier sites. Now, how do we know this is granite? If we look at the texture, you could see it's got a large grain size. What, what geologists refer to as a large grain size is actually just the crystal size composing uh, igneous and, uh, to a lesser extent, metamorphic rocks. But it's got to, it has to have cooled from a molten state to get that crystal size. It's how the crystals grow. It goes from a liquid to a solid, and the crystals grow. If the crystals are small, that means it was an extrusive igneous rock. It cooled fast. If they're large, it's an intrusive igneous rock like this. This is a relatively large grain size, as you can see over there. And that means it cooled slow. So let's go check out what else we got. In beautiful Lawton, Oklahoma, which I, I'm not saying that sarcastically. It is actually pretty nice here. As you can see, standing on 500 million year old granite, nice outcropping of it. By the way, we got the Selaginella species right here. A spike moss, a lycophyte, not a moss at all. And certainly not dead, even though it's dry and crispy. It's just, it's just dormant, waiting for a little bit of moisture. Got a species of Heterotheca over here. Look at all those little ciliate hairs on the... Uh, margins of those leaves god it is nice here look at this little oak this little oak species I'm getting i'm getting flashbacks look at the my gentle lizard eyes do you see him whoa how long have you guys been in control how long you been in charge huh answer me god damn it Look at your beautiful color. I'm sorry. I'll, qu I'll quit playing around. I'm, you don't need, you know, you don't need that kind of shenanigans from me. Hey, you're looking good. You're looking pretty dapper. I feel good about this uh, altercation. Look, we got Paranicchia. We got a Paranicchia species, Caryophyllaceae. I love this genus, and this genus really likes the uh, rocky area. See, no leaves. The leaves, well, they were. They were down there. They're not anymore. It's growing with that Selaginella. And then it just sends up a uh, an inflorescence with all these little tiny little yellow flowers on it. See little five-petaled yellow star-shaped flowers. That's a cool one. Photosynthetic stems. Had leaves at one point. Had like a little basal carpet of leaves, but they're gone now. Let's see if this one's got any. Oh, yeah, that, that one's got some. Is that it? No, that might be a grass next to it. Oh, there's there's a couple. See that? Look at all the heterotheca over there, just colonizing that little uh, rock outcropping. And over there you got the Canada geese. Hey, I really like what you guys do when you shit up the shopping mall parking lots. Great work. Really proof. Was it this Quercus marilandica? Probably blackjack oak. That would make sense. They kind of like it dry. And this is a rocky area, so uh, look at all the goddamn lichen. Beautiful. This is a rocky area, so there's not much soil here. What's this, Roos? Yeah, Trilobata or whatever the hell species up that they're calling it now. Look at these little tufts of that heterotheca. That's nice. That is really something else, man. That's, that is nice. That's a nice plant. The little rock garden here. Look at that. How could you live? How could you live in a place like this and not appreciate this stuff? You got to be nuts. Perinicchia, Selaginella. And a heterotheca. It's low species diversity, but they look good when they are together. Well, you got a, what is this, Junipers virginiana, eastern red cedar. Again, not a true cedar. No true cedars native to North America. 
we get Junipurus and Thuya, and also the genus Camisiparus. Those are all considered theaters, cedars. They're all related. But, uh, oh man, this is nice. Yeah, this is, I think this is Virginiana. What do we got down here? Got some fuzzy shit. No idea what that is. Fuzzy leaves. Not flowering. Carpet of Selaginella, a nice prickly pear, and Opuntia. Oh, this stuff smells good. Ariagonum longifolium. Look at that. That's, a, that's one of the largest flowered buckwheat species I've seen. Polygonaceae is the family. Look at those flowers. You can actually see the nectar at the base of those stamens and petals. And there's that, that, that foliage. See, look, it's white on the underside. Grows throughout the region. That's a great species. You got to put that in your yard if you, uh, you kill your lawn. You know, that's why I'm telling you all this stuff. You got Artemisia ludovician up there. One of the, uh, it's a relative of sagebrush and wormwood. Asteraceae. Smells really good. Got that croton again. A lot of nice stuff here. A lot of nice stuff. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. It's a damn echinocereus of some kind. Not surprisingly loving the rock outcropping. So all this rock cooled very slowly underground 500 million years ago. It cooled so slow it may have taken a million or two million years to cool from a molten state to a solid state. And how do we know that? Because it's got that large grain size. Look at this. Those are individual grains. Well... No, nah, not really. They're, they're a few dozen grains all together in one of those little pebbles. It'd be nice for a peyote gourd, you know? For uh, you know, somebody... You see, I was with a friend, okay? I'm not NAC. I was with a friend who was NAC. They were trying to uh, find stones for their little gourd for, uh, you know, shaking in a teepee ceremony or something. It would be a good spot to do it. You know, I had to, I had to tell them that the stones they selected were made of volcanic ash and tough, so they would probably disintegrate and turn into powder when they were inside the gourd after a certain point. But, uh, you know, that's what the... <laughs> I, I hope I didn't harsh their mellow too much. I don't think I did. You just gotta find new ones, you know? Look at that rock. Look at those rocks. God damn. That is nice. Who knew, huh? Oklahoma. Looking good, Oklahoma. Prettier than parts of Texas. God, this is a really nice spot. Got a hackberry. Got Tradescantia. Or is it not? Actually, this is Comalina. Excuse me, that's Comalina. Skyzacrium, Scoparium, little blue stem. Still 95 degrees in early October. God, that's nice. Look at that. Holy hell. Who knew Oklahoma had such wonders? Look at us! Look at look at look at the echinocereus, like little little red toupees po poking up above the uh, of the grasses over there. Man, I saw these mountains from the uh, I don't know, probably thirty miles away, and had no idea there were mountains here. Just just the hour southwest, Oklahoma City. Looked it up, and sure enough. You go to those rock outcroppings and there's good stuff. Look at this. This beautiful little native rock garden. What the shit is that? Is that a lichen? Jesus. Looks like a turd. It's probably a very old lichen. There's that Heterotheca. And a kind of serious. Looks a little rough for the wear. Looks like it's dying back a little bit. But look at it. It's, it's ensconced in a little carpet of Selaginella. Oh, I love that. I love these associations. It's the Laginella's all over the rocks here. There's been some dieback. Look at that. Probably prolonged drought. I'd love to see that Selaginella when it's lit up and not dormant, when it's actually green. There's a cool grass. What's that? Dicanthelium? Yeah, check that out. What the hell? The inflorescence is done, it's done flowering, but that's cool. Just just living its best life in this little rock crack. Look, they're dormant now, but there's a whole colony of uh, chylanthoid ferns down there. Probably a Myriopterus. Yeah, it certainly looks like a Myriopterus. See, they're all curled up. They'll be uh, turgid and blue when uh, they get some rain, when they're actually going off. You got this nice colony of Echinocereus up here. Again, ensconced in a lycophyte. 
Nice perinicchia over there. See, there's a nice example of that perinicchia. See that? You get the leaves right there. This is all the same plant, just growing out of the crack in the rock. And then there's the inflorescence with those tiny flowers on it. Kind of beautiful. They love, the perinicchias love the dry sites. Got a croton. Got this mezilia. Probably oligosperma. You know, who the shit knows? There's like four species that all look the same. But there's the fruit right there. That little capsule with all those barbed hairs. And then there. What the hell is, what's this guy pissed about? What are you doing? What's your, what's your, what's your damage, huh? Huh? Yeah, that's right. You heard me. We got wild turkeys. Look, we're about to be ambushed over there. They're all ganging up. It's fine by me. I don't mind. What's, yeah, what's your deal? Huh? Take it easy, buddy, all right? No one's, no one's bothering you. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, nice medzelia. Flowers aren't going off. Velcro leaf family. Barbed hairs. There's the fruit. I really love these little wild rock gardens. God damn. Well, there's nobody trying to recreate this. I love the perinicchia. Selaginaceae, the, the spike moss. Got all these cool ferns growing out the crack. Little clumps of echinocereus. Look, this guy's flushing beta lane pigment pink. And this guy's still white. Apparently, they're two separate individuals there. Many, many headed individuals. Look at that guy. I wonder if this is just a subspecies of Reichenbachia or what? Oh, God, look at that. Oh, kill me. That's so nice. Perinicchia, Heterotheca, Selaginella, bunch of tiny grasses. This stuff, this composite is dormant now. It looks like it was a Thelosperma or something. Look at this guy. He's still hitting that Areogonum. Rich nectar source. You can see what I call a longifolium. It's got those long leaves. Oh, this is cool. Here's a little species of Femoranthus. Caryophyllales is the order, same order as cactus, spinach, and beets, but it's in the bitter root family. The tiny pink flowers and those uh, succulent little leaves. They like the dry site, so it doesn't surprise me that it's growing here. Also here we have uh, a species of Frolichia, as you can see. Amaranthaceae. There's the tiny flowers. Tiny ass flowers right there. They look fuzzy as hell, too. Likes the dry sites. Some species of Frolichia get upwards of three feet tall. This is obviously a dwarf. I've been seeing it for a while. Look, there's that Myriopteris. See that? Look, there's a little, there's a little bit still, still turgid, still alive. Whole thing is still alive, but there's actually a photosynthetic leaf that's not dormant. Yeah, well, that's my light. That's all I got. I keep hearing these elk bugling in the distance. You got longhorn cattle shitting up uh, the trails behind me. You know, it's a beautiful night here in Oklahoma. So, I don't know if you could hear that. Yeah, you can hear those guys. You see, they're out there somewhere. Anyway, that's all I got. Have a good rest of your day. Go fuck yourself. Bye.